This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. One person died and another suffered serious injuries when a pickup truck went off State Route 17 and crashed into Lake Lenore. One of the world's largest polysilicon manufacturers is reaching out to President Donald Trump. When snow is falling and frost is forming, making sure car windows are clear is critical for everyone's safety. Moses Lake Chiefs Wrestling had an evening full of highs and lows. From the iFiber One Newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. One person died and another suffered serious injuries when a pickup truck went off State Route 17 and crashed into Lake Lenore. State troopers say the truck was heading south on SR-17 Thursday morning, about 11 miles north of the city of Soap Lake, when the driver lost control on the icy roads. The truck went off the road to the right, rolled down the embankment, and came to rest on its top in the water. Grant County Sheriff's Deputy Corey Judkins and State Fish and Wildlife Officer Glenn Steffler were first on scene and both jumped into the partially frozen lake. The two were able to open the passenger side door and pull the passenger from the truck. That person sustained serious injuries and was taken to an area hospital. The driver, identified as 78-year-old Cooley City resident Harold Chadwick, died at the scene. His passenger, Connie Chadwick, is in critical condition at Samaritan Hospital. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Maytag and the family pooch have a lot in common. Both are loyal, both aim to please, and both are tenacious dish cleaners. But only one can sanitize. Maytag. What's inside matters. Maytag Appliances. Now available at more furniture in Efreda. One of the world's largest polysilicon manufacturers is reaching out to President Donald Trump in hopes of encouraging a trade compromise with China. Moses Lake, Washington and Butte, Montana-based REC Silicon makes polysilicon composite used in solar panels. In its letter to Trump, REC writes that its company has lost a lot of business after the U.S. was forced out of the Chinese polysilicon market in 2014. As a result, REC Silicon says it's reduced production by 50 percent, conducted several rounds of layoffs, and is downsized from 900 employees to just over 400. Eighty percent of global demand for polysilicon comes from China. REC wrote the letter in light of the Trump administration's upcoming determination in the Section 201 Safeguard, which is an investigation to resolve the long-standing polysilicon trade dispute between the U.S. and China. I'm Sean Goggins for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Are your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. When snow is falling and frost is forming, making sure car windows are clear is critical for everyone's safety. Drivers with an obstructed view by snow and ice could face traffic fines and even criminal charges. Windows that must be cleared to avoid a traffic stop are the windshield where the wipers hit, the front two windows for optimum use of the side mirrors, and the back window for the use of the rear view mirror. The back windows are not required but are still advised to be able to check the blind spots. Wenatchee Police Department Captain Edgar Reinfeld says not only to make sure your windows are clear of snow, but also the top of your car and the hood. Uh, another danger is all the snow packed up on the roof, sometimes on the hood or at the top edge of the windshield. We saw it just the other day, it was a clear day down here, relatively cold. Somebody had come down from a higher elevation with about six inches of snow on the car, and it exploded off the car in a giant sheet of snow on North Wenatchee Avenue. Violations can range from a normal $136 infraction to a 550 negligent driving fine, depending on how bad the obstruction is. Drivers also could potentially face criminal charges through reckless driving, but Captain Reinfeld says that's unlikely. 
Slowing down and increasing following distance is also suggested during flurry weather conditions. I'm Madison Meyer with iFiber One News. Moses Lake Chiefs wrestling had an evening full of highs and lows. The Chiefs made waves to start the evening. Moses Lake beat Othello by a shocking score of 42-18, despite Othello wrestling well all night. The duel against Othello was immediately followed by Chiawana. Moses Lake jumped up early with some pins, taking a 22-6 lead. Things fell apart quickly for the Chiefs, and Chiawana rocked Moses Lake in the second half of the duel to win 42-29. The loss came three years to the day from the Chiefs' last home loss. Last time Moses Lake lost at home was against Rogers Puyallup during the Hall of Fame duels when Moses Lake hosted three duels in one day in early 2015. The Chiefs' loss may be disappointing, but it's only the third duel loss the Chiefs have suffered in the past five years. Chiefs will next hit the mat Tuesday when they travel to Eastmont. I'm Adam Chikoski for iFiber One Sports. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.